We have Miss Francine Broca, our very own entertainment correspondent with us today, and we are talking about Moondoggy. Francine, how are you? I am great, but I, I am, my mind is just being blown 85 years old this week, or by the time this airs, it'll just, it'll just be a few weeks older than 85, but I can't believe Moondoggy is 85. Wow. It just blows my mind. So crazy. I love it. Well, have you ever met him? Oh, yes, I have. We'll get let me get into that at the end. But let me just give you a big background because a lot of people may not be as familiar with him. Um, Okay, so uh, he was in 1915. He was an actor, but uh, in 1959, he got his big break as Moondoggy in the Gidget movie. And he went on to two more uh, Gidget shows. But in 1961, he got his really big break in the Guns of Navarone. So that showed off his uh, dramatic skills. And he was really proud of doing that. He really Mm was. Uh, He was in Diamond Head in 62 with Charlton Heston. Mm -hmm. And he's he's had a long list of credits. But when you hear the name James Darren, you think of Moondoggy. And he doesn't mind that. You ask him if if he minds being connected. He says, no, that made him who he is. So -hmm. he's really a down-to-earth guy. The one movie that he did that in 1963, 64 called The Lively Set. Mm -hmm. It's one of those teenage, you know, he said one time that he wishes he could go around the world and pluck up every copy and burn them. He just hated (laughs) that show. But another one of his good ones is uh, for those who think young and that from 64 that just came out this month on Blu-ray. So I urge people. It's a fun Serpent type movie again. He's not Gidget and not Moondoggy, but it's it's a cute it's a cute show. He went on to television, and this is fun. He voiced Jimmy Darrock in the Flintstones animated show. <laughs> really, that's <laughs> yes. funny. I never knew that. Yeah, Jimmy Darrock, and um, and then in '66 he starred in the Time Tunnel. That was a that was a really great. TV series. He uh, in eighty two he went on to TJ Hooker, mm-hmm. and in uh, ninety eight he had he garnered a completely new fan base by starring as the um, holographic lounge singer in Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Mm-hmm. So this is a man who who has done it all. He's produced. He's directed. He acts. He sings. He does concerts. He's just a man of all trades and he's he is was so connected with the rat pack which is an interesting interesting story in itself he's the um grand uh, the godfather of nancy sinatra's kids oh really and he used to yeah they used to all take frank sinatra's plane up to uh las vegas for the rat pack shows and just sit together and enjoy that time and he he really took a lot of his his um, singing, especially later in life, he covered the Rat Pack songs, the, the Dean Martin and the Frank Sinatra songs. So he was very close to the Rat Pack. Hmm. So interesting. I love yes. that it doesn't bother, I, I love that he's proud of his early work because those of us who remember it, I mean, what beach blanket bingo I mean there were there were so many and he worked with such wonderful co-stars he always yes. had real you know they were all super talent they were just young and doing fun stuff because that was that was right then and and he grew up in Philadelphia and in his little neighborhood group they came uh, Frankie Avalon which you said from beach, beach blanket bingo Bobby Rydell and Fabian all came from the same neighborhood I mean, they were all the same, uh, the same group. Uh, they, they just all came up at the same time. And I mean, they're talent from that place. I wonder what they put in the water. <laughs> so, so great. But that was it. But, uh, he was real talent. And as you pointed out with his future work, I mean, he was, he was really um, a trained actor. 
Yes. Yeah, this, is, yes. this is him um, in with one of his Deep Space Nine colleagues, which is really interesting. I love seeing that because most people think of him as Moondoggy, right? Like I, yes. I love those Gidget shows. And uh, I thought he was so handsome. And so it was kind of fun to see him later on in life. But, he, you know, his appeal was was multi-generational, especially in Gidget. Because I loved him and my mom, my mother loved him. I mean, everybody knew Moondoggy. And it was it, innocent it, fun. Innocent fun, right. Well, then, uh, you know, he, he has done some um, some concerts over the last decade or so. And he's, he did some in the Marina Del Rey, which I, I attended quite a few. And I am not, you know me, I'm not a fan person, I, I, a fanatic. And I don't collect um, autographs, but I, I had, I brought with me that day some, uh, some of his CDs and I waited at every, he signs for everybody. He'll wait for everybody yes. and yes. just sign as many people that, that want his autograph on whatever he will sign. So I, I waited towards the end and then I took my CD up and I said, yeah, would you sign this please? And he says, yeah, what's your name? I said, Francine. And he signed it and he said, well, you know, that was her name in, in Gidget, Francine. I said, no, it was Francie. And then I thought, oh, my God, I am correcting Moondoggy. <laughs> and I thought I thought probably went all red. But, but he says, yeah, you're right. It was Francie. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. So he's 85. Mm -hmm. He had I don't know what he did. He did last fall. He did have a bout of COVID, mm. but I know he pulled through and he's got a loyal fan base online and anybody who wants to know what he's up to, go to jamesdarren.com. Okay. And he's just, uh, um, my, my pally, uh, Dina Martin, Dean Martin's daughter. I just did a, my TV show with her mm -hmm. and she talks about a lot of the Rat Pack stuff so if people are interested in more of that they can look up my show either on channel six or youtube and hear what she has to say about the rat pack but i do want to make a make a plea to james jimmy if you are watching i want to help you write your memoir i think it would be a fabulous book well that's wonderful we'll hold that vision for you Absolutely. Yeah, thank I, I, I have been trying to get people that know him to contact me, to have him contact me because, I mean, with the Rat Pack especially, and um, his, his singing career and with all the television that he's done, his stories are just have to be amazing. That's super. Just well, be. it's amazing. So he, I can't believe that, you know, coming from a family who made it 55 plus years in show business like I cannot even imagine still performing at age 55 and he actually has an upcoming appearance here if anyone wants to see him at 55 year mission tour August 11th to the 15th in Vegas wow. and mm. William Shatner all of these like amazing amazing people will be there Yes, well, that's why I say he's he he garnered an entire new set of fans uh, with the Star Trek series. I mean, yeah. that just gave him a completely. He he has also done Star Trek cruises with with those guys, so wow. he is very connected to Star Trek, the Space Nine, and all those characters. But um, like I said, he is, he is best right? known for for Moon Doggy, and he will tell you that he does not mind being known as the moon doggy because without that he doesn't know where he'd have been anyway yeah, so he's Everybody really he's a down-to-earth guy too I mean, really I, awesome. I, mm -hmm. i've spoken with him several times and he's really really cool well francine thank you so much for always coming and giving us such interesting like <laughs> information like i love i love it every time you come on i'm always gonna learn about something new and interesting so thank you so much my pleasure, my pleasure. And a happy birthday, Jimmy. <laughs> and we'll be right back.